let's start with deadline day, uh, shall we? Um, a couple more additions in, in this week. Um, how happy are you with the, the movement that you've made through this month? Yeah, we're delighted. Look, I think in the window when it closes now, we can't add at all again. So we need to make sure that the squads we've got cover and good competition for places, which we feel we've got now. Uh, they both bring something different to what we've got within the squad, which is good. So look, we're excited to get going with them. Yeah, let's talk about them then. I mean, Charlie Colkitt's obviously a player as a young lad who's had lots of ability. Um, what are you hoping from, to see from him? What, what can we expect to see from him? He's technically very good. Uh, he likes to play forward and break lines, which we like within our centre midfielders to play through the lines and get the likes of our attacking threats on the back foot and driving at defences. Uh, he gets about the pitch really well with his football brain. So look, I think he he brings something a little bit different to the to the likes of Bozzy and Robbo and Jim that we kind of have in there, uh, and compliments them when he can play alongside them. So look, it just brings real depth and and uh, to the squad now within that area, which is good because it's, it's it's an area that with the busy schedule you're going to pick up little niggles and stuff like that. So we need competition for places. I mean, he's had a few injuries of late, hasn't he? I know he's been quite unlucky. Is he completely over those, do you think? Or is he going to need to be kind of looked after a bit over the next few months? No, I always think any player that's had injuries, I think you have to manage them in different ways. Every player's different to when they're coming back from injuries. We need to make sure that he's up to speed within our building. Uh, he trained with us today, which is really good, and he, he trained really well. He looks sharp and he, he looks hungry to go. So, look, we just keep assessing him this, this that's what the medical team are there for, to make sure that hopefully we don't get any reoccurrences. What about Alice, Alessana Jatta? That's, that's an interesting one, isn't it? A, a big, tall striker. I, I suppose it gives you a very different option, something you haven't got at the minute. No, definitely. Look, we're excited because it brings something totally different to what we have within the squad. And I think when you have different options, it, it becomes a lot harder for teams to prep against us now in different ways and in different ways that we can attack teams as well. Like if you look at Barrow with a low block, I think if we'd have had a big, powerful centre forward that we could cross the ball more to, it causes more problems and then it probably makes them come out their shape a little bit more. So, look, we're excited to, to kind of have someone like that with that profile in the building. Um, you had signed a couple of defenders, Knots, in, in January. Lewis Makari's loan had become permanently and then uh, Jane Warner, obviously, from, from Norwich the other week. But um, did you want, did the club want, try to sign any other players at the back at all towards the end of the month or not? Look, we, wa we wanted to make sure that when we brought players in that they could help the squad and come in and improve the squad. So we feel that the players that we've brought in will come in and, and it brings a nice balance to the squad. So there's no point signing players for the sake of signing players. We've got good players within the building. So we've got to make sure that when we bring players in, they come in and they support them players and there's real competition for places. And I feel that that's what we've done this window. Yeah. So had you been looking at other defenders as, as options at the end of this month or not? I think you're always looking, as a football club, uh, as a management team, you're always looking, you're constantly looking at, at players to see where we can improve and that, but it's not a, a, an area that you would say that I felt when I come in, like I said to you, there was a lot of tweaks that we needed to do with the structure to help the defenders out, and I think you've seen that within the Barrow game, there wasn't a lot of counter-attacks. I thought defensively we were excellent, and that was from the front all the way to the back, and we said that, it's got to start from the front. Uh, so it wasn't just the, the sake of thinking, oh, we're conceding a lot of goals, let's go look for defenders. We needed to make sure we added the right players. Yeah, I mean, it has, as I'm sure you'll understand from a lot of supporters' comments I've seen, raised a few eyebrows that a team who are the best goal scorers in the division signed another striker and a team who are conceding a lot of goals haven't signed another defender. But um, it sounds like you're, you're confident with the squad that you've got at the moment and with the tweaks that you're going to make that you can solve that that problem that Notts have had this season of conceding goals? Yeah, look, I don't think it happens overnight. And I think that you saw little little phases of play with it uh, within the Barrow game that kind of stemmed their flow and they didn't counter on us as much. I thought we always had the overload at the back. And it's something that we've worked on hugely within training to work on the overload at the back, that we always have the overload within our box and stuff. But the lads have taken it on really well because it's not easy to, to flip between different styles in defensive ways. So they've taken taken the info on really well. And uh, yeah, we're happy with what we've got within the building, within the defenders. Uh, Nottinghamshire Derby uh, now. Um, I, I don't know if the Nottinghamshire Derby is one that you've been uh, massively aware of until you arrived at Notts, or, or is it one that you've seen? I've been made very aware of it in the, in the last week or so, which is good, and we, we're really looking forward to it. I went and watched uh, Mansfield live against Sutton, I think it was a couple of weeks ago now, uh, and it was a good atmosphere there. I've been told it's going to be very hostile, but we've sold the away end out, so I know our away travel's been brilliant this season from 
what people have told me and they'll really get behind the lads and back them. So look, we're really looking forward to being in a, in a really good atmosphere. What's the key in derbies? I think you have to sometimes take the emotion away from it. I think these are games that, in the build up to these games, that the emotion becomes very high. Uh, it becomes very frantic in the early stages of these games. For us as a football team, in the way that we play and the way that we prepare, we've got to take that emotion away, but we've still got to have that bite. It's a game that you do need to go and earn the right within, especially these derby games, the way they're going to start in the first 15 minutes. But it's a game that we've prepared well for and we're really looking forward to it as a group. The lads are chomping at the bit. Yeah, um, I've seen quite a few matches up there. Uh, the pitch has taken a bit of a battering at times. It's it's not as much of a carpet as it probably was last summer. Does it, is that going to affect things for, for you, do you think? No, it's the same for both teams. Look, I know that the contrast and the styles are probably a little bit different in the way that both teams will approach the game. Uh, but it's the same for both teams on the day. It's, it's We've got to play on it. We've prepared for it. We know what it's going to be like. So we'll be very prepared for that pitch. How excited are you to, to come up against a manager of, of such experience as well in Nigel Clough? Yeah, look, for us as a management team, that's what you want. You want to be tactically tested and challenged. And I feel that every time that we play against uh, experienced managers in the EFL, we're testing ourselves tactically. So, yeah, look, we're looking forward to it. Um, Notts obviously lost the corresponding fixture at Meadow Lane earlier this season quite heavily. Do you feel that sort of sense of responsibility in a sense to put that right I know you weren't here but for the fans obviously who suffered that 4-1 defeat at home don't want anything like a repeat this time No definitely look when you when you reflect and watch that game back there was moments within the game when Notts were 1-0 up that could have gone 2-0 and it, it can turn out to be a totally different game they conceded from two restarts which they're very strong on Mansfield so we've got to make sure that we're on that but yeah look the lads are chomping at the bit they know what it means to the fans and that's the biggest thing and they know that that hurt from the 4-1 defeat, it hurts. But it's not just Mansfield. When you lose games of football at Knotts, it hurts. And, and it does stay in, in the system for a while because you're at a club where you want to be winning every week as much as possible. So look, the lads know exactly what it means and they're, they're ready to go. And it's another one of those games. You've got a lot of them actually in your first few in charge against another one of those sides around you. Um, and I guess a, an, another team that you, you want to make sure you can make up that ground on, aren't they? Yeah, look, when I, when I first come in and I said that these are the games for us as Knots we want to be involved in, they're the games that this, this football club should be involved in at the top end of the table, looking to try and get promoted out of division. So look, it's a game that we know that there's there's huge stakes on it, but it's, it's three points at the end of the day. It's not going to define our season totally, but we know that it's, it's an opportunity to take points away from a team that's, that's close to us. All right, best of luck with you, Stuart. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Take care. Have a good day. Hi then. Um, so, firstly, how are you finding life at Notts County so far? Yes, it's been excellent. Uh, we've settled in really well. All the backroom staff have helped us settle in, so it's kind of been a smooth transition for us. And and the group of lads and the management team that we've got with us on the coaching staff have been excellent. So yeah, we really settled in and we're enjoying it. And in terms of this derby, it, it, on paper, as we've said, uh, it makes for a great game. A team that have noticeably scored lots of goals and then a team that have noticeably been defensively resolute. Does that make for a bit of a chess match? Uh, look, I think everyone has different styles of play. I think if you look at our goals scored, it's, it's very high within the division and like you say, our goals against is very high within the division. We've got to make sure it's something that when we come in that we've got to make sure that we keep more clean sheets because if you can keep clean sheets, that's what leads to real success. So it's something that we're focusing on as a management team. Uh, and it's something that's probably brought Mansfield their success, like you say, the goals that they've, the lack of goals they've conceded, is, is they're at the top of the division for a reason. And uh, have you seen any kind of areas that you think tactically that you can exploit if your team are, are on it on the day? Look, I think Mansfield biggest asset to them is the way that they press you, but also it's their biggest weakness. If you get through that first phase of the press, you're taking a, a lot of bodies out of the game, so. We know their strengths, we know their weaknesses. Look, we know it's going to be a tough game and we look at it, every every team that comes to play against us as not, they prepare a lot differently to they prepare against other teams. So we've just got to be prepared for different styles in the way that they're going to press us. So we're ready for it. We've worked on it this week in different phases that we know that how we can deal with it. 
And is that something that you're being focused on in training in terms of those crisp, accurate passes and then those breaking the line passes as well to get through that first phase? Yeah, look, it's, I don't want to give away too much tactically on what we've been working on and what we haven't been working on. But yeah, we've, we've worked on a game plan. Uh, it'll be down to the lads to go and execute it now, but we're, we're confident in the lads. They've taken it on really well this week uh, and they're looking forward to it. Uh, for you and the team, how kind of excited and upset are you to, to go to their place and kind of cause an upset? No, of course. Look, it, they beat us 4 1 at our place. It's always, that always hurts. So, look, it's, it's a chance and an opportunity to go there and get a really positive result and, and make sure that we have a positive performance as well. Uh, so, look, we know that it's, gonna, it's a sellout. We know that it's going to be very hostile. We've got to make sure that when we go and manage the crowd there. And then lastly, as you said, this whole week you've been hearing kind of colleagues, players, fans, well up for the game. And obviously you're coming from this at a point where you haven't been involved in this kind of derby. Uh, has it kind of added that a little bit for you as well? Yeah, yeah look, it's, it's exciting. These, these are the games you want to be involved, involved in and sell out crowds and, and so much at stake for the bragging rights for the fans on come Monday morning when they're going back to work for that bragging rights within, within their jobs and and that it's, it's exciting to be involved in and it's, it's, we're looking forward to the challenge.